What's good everyone, Raiden Yoshi here, with more Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Last time, we've entered Bowser's Keep, we completed the door puzzles, and now, we're moving forward. This is Smithy's Castle. No trespassers allowed. Well, Alright, so now we have to fight Magic Koopa. Just gonna open up with that, do like a metric shit and a damage to Magic Koopa. And now we're gonna Geno Boost on Mario. Get Mario an attack and defense up. So. This battle shouldn't be too hard. We are outputting a metric shit ton of damage. And we have the lovely princess here to keep our HP topped off. The reason why I switched Geno in over, Ma Gino in over Mallow, Geno's just. Honestly, a better source of damage, and having Geno boost is insanely useful because Geno can boost himself and Mario and give themselves, give each of them, an attack boost and a defense boost, which makes the healing from Princess Peach just a little bit better because of all that. What? I'm so confused. Oh, we have to kill the bomb. Peach does absolutely no damage, so we're just gonna try. This is really just the Mario and Geno show in terms of damage. Flame wall. This probably shouldn't do anything too massive to our party. Um. I think I'm just gonna group hug just because. Make sure we keep our HPs nice and high. And. Some lazy shell damage. Get some star gun damage. That's a lot of damage we're outputting just from normal attacks. And Magic Koopa's hiding. She's gonna defend with Peach because she has nothing better to do right now. Good damage from Peach. I mean, psh. yes, Peach did. Peach did a lot of good damage. Good job, Princess Peach. Your damage was the most important part of that fight. <laughs> um, good damage from Mario and Gino. Oh my God, Jesus! 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 You know the lazy shell is doing a lot of damage, but do you know the star gun is keeping up with it. Magic Koopa. <laughs> Where am I? Bowser, hello. How have you been? I, uh, made it back here somehow, but it seems like I've been brainwashed or something. I can't seem to remember anything. Have I done something wrong? Ugh. Don't worry about it. Just let's put it, let's just put it all behind us. It's great running into a loyal Koopa Trooper, Koopa Trooper like you. I'm glad. It looks like you got some tough new troopers now, but my match can still help you. Watch this. Ho, kola, uku, pua. This is a magic treasure box that will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. I'll be here if you need me. Come by whenever you want to rejuvenate your HP and magic. So at this point in the game, uh, if you look at our coins, hit this. And our coins will go up. Money is not trivial, it's how much patience you have. Unfortunately. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say we don't have anywhere to buy stuff. So, if there's anything we need, we have to buy it now. Hero shirt, Prince Pants, Star Cape, Heel Shell. Alright, so item-wise, we're gonna pick up a... You can only hold two? What? No. It's not okay. Uh, we have 
regular mushroom is not useful. A lot of pick me ups. With me keeping Peach in my party, I'm going to. It would make sense a bit to drop some of those um pick me ups, but those are kind of just in case we don't have enough FP or I need someone back at full HP. The maple syrups are far more important than those other things, though. See ya. Alright, so we're gonna go back and we're going to save. So we're level 17 right now. As a point, this game maxes out at level 30. So we're actually pretty far from the level cap. Um equipment, we have some defensive I some defensive things I wanna equip. Put on that hero shirt. Not a lot of defense is gained from that, but some. Peach is keeping the lazy shell. And now, let us move forward once again. God, that makes it like impossible to dodge anything. I'm not dealing with that bullet bow nonsense. Okay, this is this is actual nonsense. Uh... No, no, we'll just defend. Peach won't do anything unless we have to. That's such a delayed timed hit to defend that. Okay, there we go. He's down. And now... My dude with the fork, we're gonna take you down. Yeah, yeah, I'm really good. Your attack I aimed at the princess. So now... Mario and Gino can focus on taking this guy out. Storm at the princess again? Yeah! Right at the princess. Good. Nice quick. Nice and quick. Look, I actually consider this kind of stupid. Okay, throw a group hug out because this is stupid. This enemy. Nice and easy. Oh my god. Who on the design team thought that this was a good design? Where was he? Where are the bulbils even coming from? I'm I'm so irritated about that. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to special. We're going to heal up real quick with a group therapy. Got plenty of FP left. I'm actually going to do this. We're going to create a restore point here. Why are we creating a restore point? Because in case we die, we don't want to have to go as far. <laughs> so you are the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you've made it this far. I didn't think you could. Oh, feisty little fellow, aren't you? But this is the end of the line. Now you've got to deal with me. On oh, God. All right. Now we're facing off against Boomer. 
So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start out with the Gina boost onto the Mario. Gina boost onto the Mario. Princess Peach really doesn't have anything to do, so. Oh. Hey, did I say Peach had nothing to do? She has a bleeding Gina on the floor. So there, we're gonna heal that up. And just gonna have Mario on the keep the offense up. Gino's not gonna Gino boost himself. Get a stat boost moving. Oh wow, Peach took 23 damage. That's actually almost significant. Uh, we're gonna defend for now. I don't think we need to worry about Peach doing anything just yet. So that's the point. I would just like to say that Peach is taking 23 damage from this guy. This dude hits like a truck. All right, so we have actually moved in the second phase of the fight. That's, we know that because he changed colors. So, Lazy Shell is doing great damage, though. So. Oh, that was a one-hit move, and we managed to defend it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Geno's down. Mario's not. I'm going to therapy the Mario. And then we're gonna lazy shell the boomer. Okay. Now we're going to use comeback on the Geno. I completely forgot the Boomer had a one-hit move. Shaker. All right. All right, he's about to go further. I think that means that we're on the final phase of this fight. If he's turned back red. But it, we're outputting quite a lot of damage, so we're running through this fight really fast. And that's down. Urg. This is absurd. I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. Yes. <laughs> Having an attack. <laughs> I don't need your sympathy. I am a soldier. I am prepared to go. Take a dive, Chandelio. Yelch! See you later, kids. Boomer! Oh, poor Boomer. But not to worry, a little fall isn't going to hurt you. Alright, Mario, I'll lead you to the top. We must hurry to the point to blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what that says. I just hit A and hit go. Hang on tight, and away we go. So ladies and gents, we have now beaten Boomer, but we have a bigger fish to fry at the top of Bowser's Keep. And so I will be making another restore point once we get up there. So we're gonna increase our speed. As a point, they tried to make that moment super sad, and then we get this ridiculous, cheery thing here. Next stop, the top floor. Fasten your seat belts, and wait a sec. There are no seat belts! We took down Boomer, got some experience and some coins. All right, ladies and gents, the eye is protecting Exor. So real quick, I'm going to create a restore point because I don't want to have to fight Boomer every time if I lose this fight. So this is Exor. So Exor is the boss at the top of Bowser's Keep. Basically, we have these two eyes. They are protecting the top part, which is the true enemy. We need to kill this in order to win the fight. 
So what we want to do is we want to attack both the left and right eyes until they are out of commission. So I'm going to start by Gino boosting the Mario. So here's the thing that sucks. This thing, because there's so many parts to it, gets a lot of attacks every round. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Peach try to heal everyone. And Mario's going to try to go all in on this left eye right now. Uh, we're going to have Gino Gino boost himself. So I am going to be trying to do a bit of a cheese strat, but it's something that I'm not very good at doing. Static E, it's going to put some damage out. Really didn't put a lot out. This fight can be very difficult. It's this was the last fight I beat in my first play in my um, play furthest playthrough of this game. So we're gonna actually do group hug again. So all right. So one of the eyes is down. What I'm actually gonna do is I actually don't know what Geno Flash did at the top of my head. We're gonna do Geno Blast though. Put a little bit of damage on everything at once. Here, Corbell. It's gonna go on Mario. Alright, it's fine. We'll just do a group heal and turn Mario back to normal. Alright, group hug, everybody. So, we need to get the other eye down. Alright, Exor's protection is gone. Quick solidify from the enemy. Alright. So what I'll do I'm gonna defend with Peach. And so now there's no protection on this top part. Oh! I actually hit it. <laughs> I actually hit the Gino World. I've never landed Gino World with just 999. 9999 damage before. Um, so you can instantly end that fight if once the top part becomes vulnerable, you use Gino World on it and you land the timed hit to deal max damage. Because um, bosses normally are immune to that. But for some reason, when they coded the top part of this enemy, that part of it isn't immune to it. So we're able to just one-shot it. I didn't think I was going to land that, but I thought incorrectly. I sincerely just thought incorrectly. Do you know where this leads to? It looks like Exor is the contact between the two worlds. In other words... We found the road. If we follow this road, we'll find Smithy. So what's keeping us? Hey, on. Hey, I only joined so I could get my castle back. I'm not going to get dragged into this stupid hunt. This is as far as I go. I'm going to gather my troops and rebuild my castle. And you, Mario. You're an official member of the Cooper Troop. It's your duty to help with the repairs. Bowser, you're completely missing the point. What? I ought to rip your stuffing out. No, think about it, Bowser. This sword connected to two worlds, right? Yeah, so? Even if we defeat Exor, there will be other beasts to follow him. Your castle is at the entrance point to your world. In short, they'll be back. Is that what you want? Hmm, well... Well... More weapon things coming to take over my castle. What about my privacy? Yikes, this isn't good at all. In fact, this stinks. But I can't just be pals with these... But I can't just be pals with these cretins. I've got an image to keep up. Um, well... I've got it. 
No one insults the Koopa Troop and gets away with it. I've got a bone to pick with this smithy guy. Come on, Mario. We'll teach him a lesson. I'm so sly. Looks like we're together on this one. Let's go. <laughs> Freaking Bowser. I absolutely adore Bowser. But at this, we are now entering the final dungeon. So, ladies and gents, we are going to be going to take the fight straight to Smithy. See you guys next time.